Hey, what's up guys, Kellen here with Droid Life, and we just got done with the Google I.O. Keynote, and they released a new Android O preview. Uh, this is preview two, and it's also the first in an Android beta, so it's up and running on devices, and uh, basically anyone with a Pixel, Pixel XL, Nexus 6P, 5X, Nexus Player, Pixel C can all update to this right now if you want to sign up for the beta. So it's obviously early, it's preview two, there's going to be bugs and stuff, but there's some cool stuff we wanted to show you. So uh, from the lock screen, and again, some of the stuff was in the original preview, uh, but some of it's also changed. We just want to run through some of it again. So the new ambient display is a little bit different. Double tap on the screen, you get clock and then little mini icons for potential notifications you might want to check. Then you can double tap again, and then that gets you actually into um, all of your notifications. It, if I had another notification come in while I was showing this to you, you would see some color and stuff like that. So they've really tried to improve that a little bit there. Um, some other changes though, so Pixel Launcher on here, this could change depending on uh, phone, but if I long press and jump into settings, you'll see a new option down here called change icon shape. So you can actually adjust icon shapes and this is a thing that's been built natively into Android O. So if I choose Squircle, for example, it then applies that shape, sort of a masking to some icons. For some reason on my phone, it's not doing it to all of them, but you can see down there that Chrome icon now changes and it's no longer just a big round Chrome icon. So uh, some other things though, you'll notice I have all these little dots on a number of, of applications. So these are notification badges, I believe they're calling them. And what that's telling you is there's something going on there. So you can long press on that and it'll actually show you that you do have a notification um, related to that app. So uh, if we jump up here, into our notifications, there is that notification that I just looked at a little preview of. So um, again, you just long press on those and uh, it pops up and you can even swipe these away to dismiss them and you can see it disappears from up there as well. Uh, you also still have all of your app shortcuts and things like that, but Google's really taken this another level, almost third party launcher style now. So you can actually long press on any icon and it'll give you a little shortcut badge where you can jump into more info if you wanna do that stuff and potentially uninstall it. Um, you can also jump in and look at widgets and then you can quickly grab a widget for that particular app if you want to. So they're really adding to this um, sort of customizability or I should say power user tools that we see in some third party launch. So long pressing on anything will get you um, some pretty cool stuff. So um, outside of that, the uh, little changes like you can see at the bottom of the app drawer now, um, they're white, um, the home and, and navigation buttons are white. And then if you flip that up, they do invert there. Um, and then if we jump up top here, you'll notice the navigate or the notification shade and uh, quick settings panel is now a lighter gray color. Um, and so you also get inverted colors there as well. So we have white icons, and then if I swipe that down, all of that stuff then inverts. And they've moved some stuff around. Now I have Verizon Wireless up there in the corner, and the date is down below my quick settings toggles. Um, the settings icon has moved down here, but now I have battery percentage always showing up there. Um, there's your brightness slider. So they've kind of adjust some stuff. And these are those things that Google changes often. They just kind of move all of the time. Um, but I can jump into settings. And I guess I didn't show you this, but we can go ahead and look. Um, it is running Android O. So here's the update screen that says O. Uh, also, if you go into about phone, there's O. And uh, there is the O icon. There is no new Easter egg or anything like that. Um, but just some other things we've noticed, like if you go into language and input and you go into advanced, this is where you'll find the autofill service. So out of the box, autofill with Google is picked there. And you could use LastPass or some of those other password managers once they get updated. But when it's autofill with Google, it actually pulls from your Google Chrome autofill. So if you're already using Chrome to autofill passwords and remember credit cards and things like that, you can kind of just enable it in here and it will just work and you don't even have to go with a third party um, outfit. You'll see the moves in here for swiping across the fingerprint reader. None of that stuff's really new, but I do believe apps are gonna be able to start adding in some of that stuff as well in Android O. Um, the settings in general just look different. So you've got a blue settings, um, text up there along with a blue search um, and you can do full search in here like if i search for a picture in picture that's obviously showing up um, and then it gives you little visual cues as to where those items are as you search for them which is cool so youtube chrome are already checked in here and i will show you picture in picture in just a second on tim's phone because my phone is not actually working um, but before we get there um, just there's little things they've done in here like in the security section there's a verify apps and it tells you when it was last scanned that your Android device manager on which I believe is now called find my device is on and what security patch are on so they're really trying to step up um, sort of that forward facing information that really helps you um, find the stuff you're looking for right away without having to really dig um, the these settings are going to have to take some uh, getting used to by just about all of us though a lot of this stuff is just really really different um, 
If you jump back though, I will show you on Tim's device, the YouTube picture in picture. So if we just pull up YouTube here, that loads up and then you can just tap a video and it'll start playing. And then once that starts playing, you should just be able to hit home and then you can see that then shrinks down into a box that you can move around sort of wherever you want. And that, that's the idea. Um, I didn't have to hit anything extra, I just hit home and it continues to play. Now if you tap on that, it opens up and lets you um, use a couple options like expand the thing fully, um, change um, audio settings or pause it or even just close it. Um, it's pretty buggy right now and it works sort of on Tim's but if, if we don't constantly crash it and reopen it, it kind of just goes back away. Um, so far though, that's, that's mostly it. Some of the other stuff um, that you guys have seen before, like if you swipe over on icons or on notifications a little bit, there's a snooze button so you can make things snooze and go away, but we saw that in the last preview. Overall though, we're just seeing sort of a new skin on here with this lighter gray color, and I'm st starting to wonder if that means they're gonna be able to flip this from light to dark, because if we do go into um, the actual settings, and I believe it was in display, there is a there is still a device theme option down here, which showed up in the last preview. Um, and you can have it be pixel or whatever this looks like broken option is. So we might have some other options coming where you can go from light to dark because the UI now is very, very light on these. So anyways, it's just a quick look. There's probably lots more we're gonna find, but we just wanted to show you some of these new notification badges and some of the uh, changes that are there on the pixel launcher. So uh, either way, we are Droid Life. Peace.